Hey, what's going on guys? Will Blanded. Um, thank you for coming back to the channel, first of all. A strange thing started happening on my channel lately. Mainly, um, it's an eye of business. You guys started listening. You're start more people are starting to watch. You know, I'm not saying it's a dramatic amount, but I'm getting some viewers, like the same viewers commenting. So I know it's the same people who are really starting to watch. And that tells me that you believe in what I'm trying to pull off. And that is to build not perfect but a well-structured holding company. Build corporate credit on that holding company. Have at least three operating companies under my holding company. Bring in all in money uh, back up to my holding company and then pay me. I know I can pull this off, guys, because I've set up corporations before but I didn't have all the pieces I put all together all the pieces from everything I've been doing for the past couple of years along with my mistakes you know reverse the mistakes and not spend unnecessarily and I'm telling you guys I have all the any workings to build a successful company that could possibly make me millions. I don't want to set the bar too high. But possibly. I have everything in place. You think about it. I have the company to set up the LLCs or corporations. I have a company that can build the business credit. I even have a company in place to help you repair your own personal credit like it's going to do for me. So I have all the pieces necessary to make this company successful. The only thing I really don't have is I didn't pick a CPA law firm because there's two I'm thinking about going with. One I know is going to be drastically more cheaper. But the other, that will be more expensive, but they, they're they like lawyers on top of CPAs. So it's like they do real estate law. So they can give you all the loopholes necessary on the real estate side. But the other company I'm thinking about going with is dramatically cheaper. Good advice, but amazingly cheaper. And they don't have the law stuff on them. They got the CPA stuff down pat. 100%. But there's certain super, there's certain laws that the other company has. That's why they can charge you more money. There's certain laws they know about. So I have that in place. I'm probably going to go to cheaper just to set up my initial holding company because I don't look at it as it makes sense to charge a lot of money up front or pay a lot of money up front when I can make some money and then go back and go get the higher paying companies to do stuff for me. So that's my goal. I'll set up that holding company with the cheaper CPA, law firms, whatever, slash company. Let them set that up for me start working on my transportation company the media company I can relax because I'm already building that every time I do videos on YouTube I'm building the media company or what will be the media company um, this is set up as a LLC in Connecticut but what I'm going to do is just let because I never paid taxes yet on this LLC, 
I'm probably just gonna let this time out as far as when you're supposed to renew all your fees and everything and just have my holding company start a new LLC to control Chennai business. So, my proof, I'm going to need proof to get more clients paying me a thousand, two thousand, three thousand just for my services. So, for, in order for me to do that and pull that off, I've got to build all this stuff for myself first. Believe it or not, you have to do all this stuff yourself just to prove it to people that it can be done. So, on myself, I'm going to build a brand new holding company, build corporate credit on it. Um, it won't be hard to get my credit right because I have the right credit repair company in mind. You know, I let it lapse a little bit. But that's the amazing stuff about this. Even if you let it lapse a little bit, you made some mistakes, you can always go back and fix it. And if you even make a mistake on a LLC, you could just either start a new one and just shut down that one. So there's no ends to this stuff. You could build as many corporations you want, provided you, you're going to pay those administrative fees to keep things going. You know, there's fees involved with setting up the corporation, maintaining a, a business address, because you don't want to do your personal home ever for your business. So you're going to have a corporate address, and then that company they have is like a mail service. They will just mail all the corporate papers to your house or your office, whatever you prefer. But I'm going to make build all this out while I'm doing the job at the group home. Um, Uber, Lyft, Z Tegrity, Z Blackheart, building the channels. Okay, it's not just one channel. I'm building out multiple channels. I have a channel of William Bootsy Blandin. I have the Nice Guy Driver channel. I got a few other channels that I just got dead that I'm not really doing anything with. But actively, I have four. I have Real Well TV, and I don't know why, but I stuck just my z Tegrity stuff over there. It's just Real Well TV. William Bootsy Blandin, it's just fuckery. I don't know how to put it. I probably won't be able to monetize this video now, because I swore, but my fuckery. You're going to see personal moments I had with friends and family. Um, and you're going to see a mixture of crazy TV that I watch. Um, and a few business videos sprinkled in, but not a lot. Just sprinkled in, you see one or two business videos, because that's what that channel started out as. But that's mainly, like, if I'm just having fun, on vacation, or chilling, I'm going to put those videos on that channel. So you'll get to receive my real life. Not that it's that great now, but hopefully when the money starts rolling in, it'll be something worth watching. It's not yet, but it will be. So, just to prove to you viewers, I have to do all this stuff for myself. And then I may have to floss a little. I mean, I don't like, that's what's called, uh, you know, uh, what do they call it? Uh, hustler porn, they call it. You know, when you're on there and you just flash some money and cars. I don't want to throw any of that out on my channel, but 
I may need to sprinkle a little bit in because otherwise you guys aren't going to believe this stuff to work. So I may have to show a, a few things here and there that I have that I consider valuable toys or whatever. So just to get your point, my point across that this is real, I may have to, you know, if I get a new vehicle, show it to you. If I get into a house, show that to you. You know, just a little bit. Nothing crazy. I'm not going to be flashing money or nothing like that. Occasional bank uh, receipt, maybe. Maybe. Once I get there. But I know this stuff works, guys. Because, you know, I've done all the business stuff in the past. I had a cell phone store for three years. I kept this channel running for a couple years. I've been in a wireless cell phone industry for probably offline and online 20 years. And keep in mind, I'm not that old. I'm not even 50 yet. But I have experience with different type of business structures and entities. And I've already made the mistakes. So now all I got to do is start bringing on the right partners now. Start bringing on the right partners now. All I got to do is structure them right. And then put them in place where they can run that actual business. And that'll be the agreement. I provide ongoing management and they run the business. And we could do 50-50. You know, you want to be generous with this stuff because these people are going to run your, what's company, your companies. They're going to run it. So that takes you out of the equation to go start more companies. That's how I'm going to build this business model out. I'm going to have a master holding company. Most likely a S corporation in Wyoming. So there's like, you know, concealment there. Because Wyoming, they don't have to report who owns the business and none of the details. This is all for like, lawsuit stuff like people try to sue me down the line I'm going to have this stuff set up so flawless that you're not even going to know I own it to try to get money out of me I'm going to have my stuff structured so everybody thinks I'm still broke you're not going to know I own the corporate at, at the very least you're going to think I make decent money like once I start making some decent money but You'll just think I'm a manager of a company. You're not going to know I own the company. Because my S Corporation holding company is going to be set up so that you even look it up, you want, you're not going to see my name anywhere to know that I own it. Therefore, you can't sue me. And then all my assets are going to be segregated in different LLCs. To avoid any lawsuits that may come up. Now, yes, I'm paranoid a little bit because I know with time and money, people come looking for it. They want an excuse to come after you and take the little bit you have. So I'm going to, from jump, I'm going to set this stuff up so... Nobody knows I own it, therefore they're not going to come after me. At the very least, you're going to know I manage a company. And then even with my properties, if I live on a property I own, I will never tell the tenants I own the property. Never. I will tell them I'm a property manager. Not the repair kind, but I'm a property manager and then I'll probably have a handyman in place. So if they come at me talking junk about the landlord, who are you going to talk to? Me. And I'll probably, you know, play fake. Yeah, yeah, he, he's a bastard. Yeah, but he's still on his check. You know what I mean? Because people will take advantage of you if they know you're the landlord. Meanwhile, I just played a property manager. They come tell me everything. They'll still pay the rent to me. 
but I take all the complaints out of my life. They'll tell me to complain. I'll be like, yeah, okay, I'll submit it to the owner. That's only the property I live on. If it has people living above, below, or next door, that's how I'll play that. start doing putting the stuff into play now as we speak I'm working on the holding company the next step is start stacking my money I'm gonna take the stimulus check and put it right in the bank and get that start working for me and start doing my thing either uh, repairing my personal credit step by step what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. And I'm not going to get rich overnight. I'm not thinking that. But I, what I am thinking is I'm going to get rich. So if it takes me a year or two to get there, you're not going to know it anyway. Because you're, I'm going to live the same lifestyle. Once I get to $50,000 a year, I'm going to live on only $50,000 a year. So, even as my money grows in the business, I'm going to live that same level of lifestyle as somebody that just makes 50000 a year and just have my corporations pay for everything, my homes, my cars. So, that 50000 is true $50,000. you are going to feel rich. If you have a true $50,000, you can basically spend on food, clothes, and partying. Because your company's money is paying for everything tax-free. Your cars, your home. I can literally do a lease to myself and pay rent to myself. Let's say I bought a building that has a couple apartments in it. I could be one of the tenants and pay rent to my own corporation. That's how you want to structure it. So you're paying rent to your own company that owns a building. And then that money flows up to my holding company, which in turn pays me. The stuff is, I, I, again, I said I can't prove it to you. I got to be about it. And I understand that. But I hope once things are starting to progress along... I get more viewers on the channel. I get more people thinking, okay, wow, this is a regular dude. And he did this stuff. And yes, I am going to charge for my service. And it's not going to be cheap. Right now, you can get me dirt cheap. So if you have anything for me to do, now is the time to have me to do it. Because I'm guarantee you guys, once I get to a certain level, my prices are going to be high. I'm talking thousands. Because the knowledge I'm going to teach you guys, I believe is worth that much. I really do. But, especially everybody under 30, you need to see proof. Which is fine. So I can't, I will not expect to be making a lot of money from this channel until I start making progress in my own life. And then that's when I'll have clients come to me. I expect to have people begging for my services by next year, begging. And I can't wait because that's when I'm gonna hit them hard with the prices. I'm gonna be very expensive just to show you how to structure your corporation properly, how to build business credit, fix your personal credit just that knowledge alone even though I'm not actually doing the work 
just that knowledge alone, I can charge as much as $5,000 and actually get it. But because I made a few mistakes in the past, I want to build my own corporation flawlessly, start doing those things for myself so I have the proof of concept for future clients. I'm going to be able to look back on these videos and be like, okay, this is where I was. And this is where I am now. And I want to bring some people along with me on this journey. So I will have some information below. Uh, I'll try to remember to keep my email below this video. If you want to get a contact me and work with me now while I'm cheap. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you next time.